Hi, I'm Paul and I'm the founder of BugBug. BugBug is a test automation tool that enables you to create end-to-end -end tests for your web applications without any coding. Our primary users are QA developers and product managers, mostly from SaaS companies who rely on BugBug to automate tests, ensuring their applications run smoothly and reliable. In this short demo video, I will use our free SaaS application to show you how to automate the sign-up process with email verification without any developer help. After watching, I highly recommend starting our free trial to truly experience how easy and robust BugBug is for recording tests. Let's dive in. First, ensure you have an empty project and the BugBug Chrome extension is installed. Navigate to your project and click new test button to create a new test. Let's name this test sign up process and click create test. Next, click start recording and BugBug will open a new incognito window where all your interactions will be recorded as steps. I will go to the sign up page and fill out the form. Using BugBug inbox service, I will generate a unique email address by clicking the inbox button in the BugBug overlay, then copying and pasting the address into the email input field here. Let's continue. Sign up to this demo SaaS platform requires email verification. To verify the email, I'm clicking open inbox in the BugBug overlay. This will open a new tab with the BugBug inbox service. The verification email arrives in the inbox and by clicking on the button in the, in, in the email, I confirm the address. Next, I will add an assertion to ensure we are in the application post verification. Click add assert button, then click the specific text on the page to record an assertion step that verifies the presence of this text. Finally, click finish and close. And that's it. We've just created our first test covering the sign up process with email verification. All the recorded steps you can see and easily modify in the web application. To run the test, click Run button, and BugBug will execute all the recorded steps on your local machine. Of course, you can also run this, run this test in the cloud, which I will show you later. For now, the execution process has started, and you can follow the steps that BugBug is performing on your local machine. So here we are, the last page after the email confirmation. And as you can see, the test has passed. The last thing worth mentioning is that BugBug automatically used the test run ID variable, which you can see here, which helps to generate a unique email address for each test execution. Now, I want to record a second test covering a login scenario with invalid credentials. As you can see, we have a list of steps in a single group. To make my test more manageable, I want to reuse the go to rel step as a component for a very test in this project. So to do that, click the plus button here and then split group here to divide the group into two. Rename the first group to the go to the main app and make it a component by clicking the Make Component button. Next, click the plus button below our first component and select New Test from here. This will be our second test. Let's name it Invalid Credentials for Sign-in Process. Great test. 
This test will include the reusable go to the main app component. Then click record from here at the bottom of the test and Backback will execute all the steps up to opening the application. With recording mode enabled again, as you can see, I will interact with the page to record the login process using invalid credentials and verify the validation message appears on the screen. So let's go to the login page, provide non-existing email address and add assertion that I see this specific text on the page. Finish and close. Now I can confirm those steps. And here we are, this is our second test that can be run just like the first one and you will see the execution results within the seconds. Again, test passed. With two tests ready, I can now create a suite, a group of tests that can be scheduled or connected with a CICD pipeline. In the suites model, click the new suite button and give the name for this suite. Add the two tests we created earlier and enable the parallel option to run them simultaneously. Click Create Suite to finalize. You can run the suite manually, either locally or in the cloud, but the real benefit is connecting it with your CI/CD pipeline to get the execution reports after each deployment. In the dropdown menu, select the Run via CLI option to find commands to integrate this suite with any CI/CD pipeline. Buyback also offers a native GitHub integration, you can find it in the integration sections here. Let's say that in this example, we want to run our suite on a regular basis as a smoke test. To do that, let's create a schedule. Go to the schedules module and click new schedule. Name it, for example, daily schedule and set it to run daily. Select the suite we just created and click Create Schedule. To simulate the schedule execution, select Run in Cloud from the drop down menu. You will see the schedule started and in the history model, under Suites, you can track the suite run. In the suite run details, you can monitor the execution status. Our tests are running in parallel as configure, and once all the tests are finished, you'll have an option to download a PDF report with the results, and you will get also the email notification. Lastly, let's talk about the alerts model. Alerts make sure that as soon as your app is not working as it should, you will get an alert. By default, there is an alert configuration that sends email notification after any schedule. You can customize your alert by clicking new alert and defining the when and then actions. Notifications can be sent via email, Slack, or any webhook. More integrations are on the way. In this short demo, I couldn't cover all the advanced features Backback offers. I encourage you to explore variables and profiles, which significantly expand Backback's functionality. For example, you can run tests across multiple environments or generate dynamic data using custom JavaScript variables. That's basically it, a Backback in a nutshell. 
As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I highly recommend starting a free trial and experience Backpack for yourself. If you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them via the contact form. I hope to see you as a Backpack customer in the future and until then, have fun and take care. Bye now.